Okay, everybody, welcome back to G. Parker's Arcade Room. Uh, American Truck Simulator. I'm in the Kenworth. Just finished a job in Salina, Utah. And I've got my bank account up to $205,000. Looking to buy another shop in Kansas when they open it up the first of the month, which is just, what, five, six days away? <clears throat> so, I want to start heading back that way. I got a job. Taking a pressure tank, 41,800 pounds, from Salina, Utah, to Amarillo, Texas, which is going to head us back that way. So I'm going to take this job and get us started on it. Ready to roll. And, uh, proceed to the loading area. I'm going to take my brake off. And let's see where this, where this truck's at. Where's my trailer at? Okay, it's around the other side of the building. Can we get around the building this way? Got a full tank of fuel. And literally no damage hardly at all on the truck. I haven't had any accidents since I had it serviced. I think it's just uh, tire use and whatnot. Anyway, we made it around the building. Where is our trailer? I bet this is it. And of course. We're on the wrong side of the building. Can't get through there, so we have to turn around. I don't think I can make it through any of these. Could try to drive down one of those rows, but I don't think it will. I think I'll go down, come back the way I went. We know that we can make it down this aisle here. And probably could have made it down one of those aisles. Yeah, I probably could have came down that aisle, just pulled up, backed in here, but I played it safe.
Well, that's great. Just ram right into it. Let's do this. Okay, let's look at some of the statistics here. Hey, if I leave now, it's Wednesday, 2, 10 p.m. I will arrive Thursday at 4 something a.m. So, 820 miles. Okay, let's take a look. 820 miles, and I have got how much fuel on board? Am I looking at the right dashboard? Yes. Whoa! Evidently I had a radio button here. <laughs> okay, now. Let's take a look. Okay, we've got... 1,311 miles left on our tank, and, well, I'm just having a hell of a time. Yeah, 820 miles to go, so I'm good on fuel, uh, 14 hours and 13 minutes of drive time. It's expected Friday by 2.12 a.m. Nope. Yeah, that's what it's expected by. So, we're good. So, with that being said, let's just drive this thing. Quit worrying about all this stuff. Parking brake off. Let's get down to Amarillo, Texas. We got some driving to do. 820 miles. To be exact. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. Here we go. Thanks, fellas. We'll see you later. It's bad joke time here on American Truck Simulator. What's the difference between an alligator and a crocodile? One you'll see later, one you'll see after a while. Told you it was bad. This is a double trailer. It's not a lot of weight, I don't believe. Stay left, and then turn left. Trying to see if it tells me here. Gonna pay me thirty-seven thousand dollars. Turn left, which is a lot less than I made hauling those uh, Western Stars up here. But the only Western Stars I could have delivered those Western Stars, but they were going further up, almost the Canadian border, and I wanted to work my way back to, toward Kansas. So I decided to take the lesser-paying job, going the direction I wanted to go. Oh, we're getting on I-70. Well, that's nice. I haven't been out this west that far, but I live in Kansas City area, and I-70 passes right through.
know they've talked about Kansas opening up this November and then Arkansas. I was hoping maybe Missouri will snuck in there sometime. Imagine it takes quite a while though to do a state. I mean, uh, you know, I got a hats off to these people as far as realistic, and, and we'll see when we get into Kansas and Missouri just how realistic they are, but I know I talked to Bart, I went into his hometown down in Texas, and one of the diners I went by and one of the stores and stuff, he said, those do exist at approximately those locations, so, I mean, look at the, uh, I mean, would you really have thought 20 years ago <coughs> you'd be playing a game like this with the graphics the way it is the brake, the gas pedal, the steering the ap haptic feedback uh, all the options are available these little dashboards hooked up to cellular devices I mean, come on, let's, you know, I was talking to somebody about this the other day, I remember 20 years ago somebody said, oh, I'm going to be so excited when the video phone comes out the video phone, you know we bypassed that altogether. I mean, that we went from landline phones to cell phones to cell phones with cameras in them to cell phones with the capability of making a video call and then conference calling and getting a group of people together and doing the stuff that you do. Uh, just unbelievable. Unbelievable. And 20 years ago, you just said, you're nuts. It just all seemed to seems like it happened exponentially as we get a little bit of technology and then that technology bred into more technology which expanded that technology and made the technology even better and now it's making my head spin so I think you know what I'm trying to say well I'm doing 82 and an 80 I'm gonna set my cruise control it's 78 that's better I don't like going that fast but we got, I, I had trouble getting up to that speed with those uh, Western Star tractor trucks behind me. Uh, this load is definitely a lot lighter. Don't need a rest area. It's 3.36. I'd like to rest about... Seven or eight o'clock. That's what I'm going to shoot for. Is uh, about four hours from now. That was almost a disaster, but I noticed we went from 80 to 50 speed limit while I was sitting there talking, and this traffic was slowing down, and I do not want a catastrophic accident, and we are in the mountains, so... Here we go. These simulated dashboards are cool for certain information. Crash offense, $900. What did I do? Tag somebody already? Oh, wonderful. That's just wonderful. Looks like that was $900 out of my pocket. This job's only paying 30, 
Yeah, I'm I'm squeezing these people out on the left lane. I gotta I'm back up to an eighty mile an hour speed limit, but I'm getting kinda skittish now. It's a double trailer, but it's not that long back there, and it seems to be tracking really good. straight. Discovered a recruitment agency. That's extremely cool. Or a fix for fuel. Good. Yes. So I've got 1,100 miles range and 654 miles to go. It's 5.46 p.m. There's a rest area up ahead. It's just too early yet to rest.
$204,220. Pick up this uh, job here, 37000 and plus what my drivers will hopefully bring in. And probably get a couple more jobs in before Kansas opens up. Let's see, let's shoot for let's shoot for four hundred thousand. By the time Kansas opens up. It should buy us a nice shop and a nice rig. And I don't know what kind of rig I'm gonna get again next. I think I've pretty much got one of each. Get over and that guy gave me some room so I made it so with that being said let's see I, I gotta look at my inventory and see I don't think I have a Mac truck I don't know if I found a Mac dealership or not I'll have to check that out now I've got a Volvo and now I've got a Western Star pretty sure I got an international I know I got a Peterbilt A little bit later, I'd stop and rest, but I want to have. I'd like to get it down under 400 miles. Before I stop. Beautiful country out this way. I'd like to sure like to figure out what I had early on that dashboard and brought up my music. I don't even see anything on there that says music. It's funny. Almost seven o'clock. Stay left and then turn left. Let's see, seven o'clock, ten hours rest. Guess going again at five o'clock in the morning. I'm trying to decide. Oh, I'll tell you what I'll do. Just set the rig here for a minute. I think we're safe. Let's take a look at this map. See what our choices are. Rest areas. Ooh. 
Here we are now. Well, I think we've got a ways till there's some rest areas, so. I'm going to kind of make a uh, ultimate decision here to pull in here and start our rest period. I turn it off. That guy behind us looks like he's gonna let me swing out. Okay, let's put the parking brake on. Let's uh, turn off the engine. And, uh... Let's go ahead and get our rest. Yeah, now we can start out driving during the day. It's early morning, but that's alright. But I think I'm going to call that it for this video. And, uh, I'll be back for the next leg of the video. So, uh, let's back out here and see if we can take a quick snapshot of what we got. $223,296. Let's take a look at our drivers. Yeah, drivers are doing a pretty good job here. Map view. See what they're doing. Here's Henry K. He is on duty. I wanna. B on duty. Sam's on duty. Genevieve, that's my first driver I hired. She is heading back. Kathy C, I think that's my newest driver. And she is on duty. So, we got some people out there working, making money. And that's always good to know. So, our goal is to now get over here somewhere on the Kansas border. Be ready to jump that border and get back up here um, when. Kansas goes online, which should be here, and just it is uh, November 25th, and it's going to go on November 30th, I believe, so five days away. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for riding along, everybody. We'll see you next time. G. Parker's Arcade Room. Take care. Bye now.